welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner. And if you just watched my um, honey and milk polenta video and you want to know what to do with honey and milk polenta, here's the next step. I have a pie slice of my polenta. What I'm going to do is I just bought some raspberries. Now, these can be raspberries, these can be blueberries, these can be bananas. I know I said bananas, but these were eyeing me. And I'm like, raspberries. Mm. Get a little small pot like this. Put about two tablespoons of sugar in it. And you want to put that on medium. And let's open these up. And now raspberries off the vine, which I've had, are delicious. That's how you say delicious. Delicious. Um, but raspberries from the store can be kind of tart. Um, it also depends where they grow too, because I've picked them off the bush and about turned purple. Um, and okay, now that I'm talking and the burner is on, gotta heat got a uh, gas stoves. All the time I was talking, it was just releasing gas. And I'm like, that doesn't smell right. Okay, so now that we have the burner on, we're gonna add some raspberries to this. And this method can be used for any types of fruit. Let's just add all of them, because we're gonna eat them tomorrow. This is what you call making breakfast ahead of time. Let's get a spoon. Now when you're cooking bananas, they're going to get sticky and, and, and the, actually, let's do something. I want to keep two of these out. Just realized something. I need, I need a few of them out that are kind of pristine here. I'm destroying them as we're going. That's three is good enough. Okay. So we're going to mix these around. It's okay if they get chopped up a little bit. Again, what I was saying, with bananas, you just want to make sure now see, I don't know if you can see this, but the juice is coming out. That's what you want. Mmm, juice. I just want to cook these down. Now sometimes people don't like the seeds. I don't really care about the seeds. So it's all going to just turn to mush. Now again with the bananas, I, I know I'm stuttering here, um, the bananas what you want to do is chop them up, add the sugar, stir them around until they're warm, until they're, you know, you bite into one, or take a fork, pick one up and bite through it, it's warm all the way through. You know, you don't, you're not making uh, banana mashed potatoes, banana mash. Okay, and this is looking pretty good. Let me touch it here. Yeah. Just made a basic simple syrup, I'm not using that much sugar. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. Because I had just to make sure that I had both of these on. So here is our honey and milk polenta. Let me get a little bit better spoon than I have here because that's not really good for scooping on. Oh Probably better not to get one with holes in it. Here's a big spoon. What we're gonna do? Gonna ladle this right on top. Just kind of smear it on top, and then get some of that juice. And this is. Yum or -er. I mean like yummy. Okay, well I am gonna eat this now because I cannot wait till tomorrow. So this is gonna be my dessert. So I hope you enjoyed watching how to assemble a honey honey and milk polenta raspberry yummy tart looking thing. Don't have a name for it. So I'll see you later. Toodles!